Hey guys, Carlos Espinal here at Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina. We got something very special here, a RAV4 Prime 2021 bottled SE. At a first glance, it does look like just a regular RAV4 or just a regular RAV4 hybrid. But what makes it a Prime is basically a plug-in right here. We got here some charging cables. Based on the equipment that you have, uh, the outlet, if it's a 120 or a 240, you, it can range from 12 hours to two hours of charging time. Uh, but the advantage is you're getting around 42 extra miles on just electric. Uh, that's a big plus for a RAV4, being it's a hybrid and a prime as well. If I had this and I travel less than 40 miles, I have it charging overnight, get on the car, get to work, have it plugged in at work while I'm doing my job and come back, head home, and I'm using only the, uh, electricity and zero gas. One can say that it's very similar to a gas or hybrid, mostly RAV4, uh, especially the SC where it has uh, this blueprint contrast with the black, um, but one differential uh, different between the uh, Prime and the XSC is the two-tone alloy wheels obviously the plug-in hybrid emblem right here as well um, you got your turn signal blind spot monitoring as well and smart key system where there's a sensor on the handle to lock and unlock the vehicle under the hood we could take a look at the 2.5 liter four cylinder paired with a ecvt transmission obviously beside it because it's hybrid that's your electric motor right there believe it or not it has 302 horsepower. That's the second fastest Toyota vehicle that we have besides the Supra. Um, the zero to 60 is 5.7 uh, seconds. So that's actually extremely fast for a RAV4, especially on the regular hybrid RAV4, you're getting only 219 horsepower. I know it's broad daylight, but I did turn on the projector beam LED headlights. This gives you a much wider and further view when it's dark, mostly on a country road. Uh, this is the first time I think I'm seeing chrome paired with the uh, gloss black and it almost looks like the same chrome that you see on a Nightshade 4Runner. I want to point out also that this is your radar cruise control. You also have the lane departure camera right there. Those two things help together for your Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. Ground clearance on a RAV4 ranges from 8.1 to 8.6. The specific uh, RAV4 Prime is 8.1. Um, so you have plenty of clearance and you can actually take it off road. The left, it's a RAV4, but it also has a trail setting. Um, it is an all wheel drive, so it's very capable, okay? We're gonna look at the sticker price of the vehicle. Again, it is a RAV4 Prime. Uh, the VIN number, the year of the vehicle, it is an SE. It could be an XSC and it'll state it right here. It's an all-wheel drive SUV. Colors blueprint. These vehicles are made in Japan. All Prime RAV4s are, are made in Japan. A little fun fact. If it starts with a J on the VIN number, you can tell it's made in Japan. Uh, the fuel economy here, 94 miles per gallon electric if you're using the electric uh, engine as well. But if your traditional uh, hybrid vehicle, you're getting 38 miles per gallon. Here are your standard equipment, mechanical and performance. Again, it's getting 302 combined net horsepower with the electric motor and the battery. Safety and convenience, you have eight airbags. You have blind spot modern with rear cross traffic alert, safety sense 2.0. Exterior and interior settings are stated right here. Um, you get XM radio for three months free. Then the MSRP of the vehicle is 38.1. Carpet floor mats are added with a cargo mat. Um, in total, with delivering, processing, and handling, gets you a MSRP of $39,544. Behind the RAV4, again, it's blueprint paired with your gloss black. Um, it is an electric tailgate, so you can either open it from the actual key or from the inside of the vehicle or that button that's underneath here. And a lot of trunk space. Once I fold the back seats, we're looking at the trunk now with the second row folded down. Um, a lot of space. Obviously, this could be uh, stored away in your garage or underneath here. And if we look underneath, we also have a spare tire as well. Always make sure if you are getting a RAV4 Prime that you have your cables to charge the actual vehicle. Um, it's just something that you have to be aware of. 
are gonna drive the RAF for the moment I take it off apart, the electronic brake will actually disengage. Um, and first impressions right now, it is a very quiet vehicle once the doors are closed and all the windows are, are closed as well. Um, it's supposed to be the quietest RAV4 with the improved uh, sound deadening material that they put in this vehicle. So the turning radius is 36.1 feet. Pretty good. And again, it has 302 horsepower. A Camry V6 engine has 301. So this has some power. I'm just gonna drive it a little bit. Okay, let's. <laughs> nice job. Woo! I'll take it easy a little bit, right? It's a smooth ride. No complaints, still very quiet. So currently we're looking at the uh, energy monitor here and we're seeing where the energy is coming from. And currently we're just cruising. I'm just giving a little bit of throttle and it's just battery right now. But obviously if we press it a little bit, the engine kicks in um, and it actually displays it there. Um, right now it's a combination of the engine and the battery uh, moving this vehicle. That wraps it up. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment below the video if you have any questions about the RAV4. Um, it's definitely a very unique vehicle, very rare one currently. Again, it's the 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime in blueprint. Um, and definitely give us a uh, follow on the YouTube, subscribe, and on Instagram, Facebook, we're on there. And again, if any questions, my email will be there. My name is Carlos Espinal. Thanks for watching.